Hey guys, how's it going? Dina here. I am so excited to share with you what we do for emotional intelligence. in our homeschool curriculum. I came across one of these boxes, I'll show you guys in a minute, with one of the homeschool kits that we got from Timberdoodle and I was so in love with it. I went to their website and I just bought a couple other boxes. And even if you're not homeschooling, this is great to incorporate during dinner time or when you're just trying to interact with your kiddo about emotions and what to do in certain social interactions with your kiddos. In the pre kit for Timberdoodle, they have a box called um, I Heard Your Feelings, it's by Ibu. And I love the illustrations. These cards have little prompts and I'll show you one of them. And it's basically one of these cards and it goes through different questions. Hey, how did rabbit feel? What did cat feel? What do you think's happening here? How would you do this? What can they do? And I love going through these because even though our kiddos are not at school, they still have interaction with other kiddos at the playground, at church or other places that we go to. Another one that we do is what's going on here. And this is great for, okay, let's say someone's hurt or someone's taking your toy or someone else is on the slide, what should we do? And it helps to bring up these different interactions where you are able to walk through what the child should do when they are actually listening to you. It's kind of hard when you're in the moment and the child's screaming and there's another kid going, that's fine, that's fine. It's hard to have a teaching moment during those times. So it's nice to have those teaching moments with these. Here in the state of Texas, we have to do a subject called good citizenship. And so this is really great because it's literally called good citizenship and also it has the prompts of hmm, how do we take care of our community how do we recycle you know should we keep all the lights on all day long no so it just have has different um prompts here as well this is one of my favorites these two is respect the earth we do that with our good citizenship and then good manners oh my goodness you guys i'm always like chew with your mouth closed Please, my goodness, take your legs off of the chair. No elbows, 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 elbows. So this is so great because it's not only me reminding them of what they should do at the dining table or when you go to someone's house, let's take our shoes off or whatever. Um, they have actual images they can see here of people interacting. What do you say when someone gives you something? Nice to meet you, that kind of a thing. And then here's another one. What do I do? navigating social expectations. This is another one that we do. So all these different prompts and cards are great because we do this after our morning time and it's so fun to interact with the kiddos. I'll even have the older siblings hold up a card and ask the prompts of the other kiddos. We love doing these boxes with our kiddos because they're able to see and role play and figure out what they should do during those times. And we love adding this to our homeschool day and weeks. Like and subscribe and share this video if you found it useful. And let me know in the comments how you teach your manners um, and if you're gonna get one of these or if you even have them, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you later, bye.